Hannah Waddingham has worked in various fields of entertainment, including stage, television, and film. She skyrocketed to fame in 2020 thanks to her role in Ted Lasso and quickly reached certified Hun status after co-hosting 2023's Eurovision in Liverpool. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Hannah Waddingham. She has a singing background. Born on July 28, 1974, in Wandsworth, London, Hannah Waddingham comes from a line of opera singers. Her mother, Melody Kelly, as well as her maternal grandparents, were all opera singers. Though she never had formal singing lessons, Waddingham has a four-octave range, which she attributes to watching her mom perform at the Royal Coliseum. She said, I'd sit in the stalls, listening and soaking everything up like a sponge. That's the best way of learning. She started her career on stage. Waddingham began her career as a professional stage actress, making her debut in the West End in the 2000 production of The Beautiful Game, which led to a major role in Tonight's the Night, a 2003 musical based on the songs of rocker Rod Stewart. Some of her other credits include playing Desiree in A Little Night Music, The Witch in Into the Woods, and Lily, Catherine and Kiss Me, Kate, and The Wicked Witch in The Wizard of Oz. Her acting career Waddingham made a transition to television with guest appearances on several British TV shows. Her breakthrough came when she landed a recurring role in the renowned HBO series Game of Thrones. However, it was in 2020 that Waddingham achieved her most significant career milestone. She landed a main role in the Apple TV Plus sports comedy series Ted Lasso and portrayed football team owner Rebecca Welton. For her performance, she won her first Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. She was actually waterboarded on the Game of Thrones set. While filming Game of Thrones, Hannah Waddingham, who portrayed Septa Anella, had an unexpected and intense experience on set. In season 6, during a scene where Anella is captured and tortured by Cersei Lannister, the original plan was for Anella to be raped. However, there was a last-minute change in the decision-maker's plan, resulting in Waddingham being waterboarded instead. Instead of using visual effects to simulate the act of torture, Waddingham claimed that she was literally waterboarded. She told Collider, and there I was strapped to a wooden table with proper big straps for 10 hours. And definitely, other than childbirth, it was the worst day of my life. This experience left her with a lasting fear of water and claustrophobia. She has Septa Anella's shame bell. Fans will remember that Hannah Waddingham's most memed moment in Game of Thrones was shepherding a naked Cersei Lannister through the streets of King's Landing, ringing a bell, and shouting shame. Despite speculations that she took the shame bell from the Game of Thrones set or simply kept it after filming, Waddingham clarified that she received the prized prop as a parting gift. She said on The Kelly Clarkson Show, that's when you know that your character is really dead when they give you the hero thing. And thank you very much and goodbye. She initially said no to Ted Lasso. During an interview with Entertainment Weekly in August 2022, Hannah Waddingham and her co-star Brett Goldstein, who portrays Roy Kent in Ted Lasso, discussed their casting experiences for the show. For Waddingham, her journey to joining the series wasn't as straightforward, primarily because she initially had no interest in being part of a sports-themed show. She said, I was called in for a meeting, and they said, there's this football show. And I immediately, before they'd finished their sentence, went, oh no, couldn't have less interest in football if I tried, which hasn't massively changed, but there we are. Despite her lack of initial interest, she decided to attend the meeting, even though she didn't know the name of the show. This led to Waddingham having to sheepishly ask Jason Sudeikis, upon their first meeting, the name of the series he had co-created that she might be cast in. Explaining the aftermath of her requesting the name of the show, Waddingham continued, Sudeikis went, uh, Ted Lasso, and I went, as in Lasso. And I thought, oh my god, you sound like Mary Poppins. Just stop talking, say the script, and shut up. She was reluctant to sing a Frozen hit for a Ted Lasso karaoke scene, but it became her favorite. One of the more memorable scenes in the first season of Ted Lasso comes when the members of AFC Richmond celebrate a victory at a karaoke bar, with Hannah Waddingham's Rebecca stunning everyone with her performance of the Frozen hit Let It Go. Waddingham was initially reluctant to take on that showstopper and shared her concerns with Ted Lasso star, co-creator Jason Sudeikis. She told Entertainment Weekly, I went to Jason and said, I've avoided singing this song since it came out, because it's a beast. He's stroking the tash, and he goes, Okay, you find me a song that's better for your character. I was like, Fine, I will. Unfortunately, he knows exactly what he's doing and had chosen the right song. I had to just get on with it. 
when she'd committed. Waddingham told Nerdist she faced the challenge of not just singing the song, but simultaneously conveying Rebecca's emotional subtext while singing. Almost the singing of it for me was secondary to where we find Rebecca in that moment, and that was what I wanted to convey. She's a three-time Olivier Award nominee. Waddingham is a three-time nominee for Best Actress in a Musical at the Olivier Awards, the prestigious honor bestowed by the Society of London Theatre. Although she didn't take home one of the coveted statues named for the legendary actor Sir Lawrence Olivier, she was recognized for her work in three different productions, in 2007 for Spamalot, in 2010 for A Little Night Music, and in 2013 for Kiss Me, Kate. Ted Lasso helped her overcome her height insecurity. Waddingham has been made to feel insecure about her height throughout her career, or at least, she was until she was cast in the feel-good sports comedy. Standing at 5'11", Waddingham told The View, being a woman who's not small, very tall, I had always struggled. She explained how she was turned down on more than one occasion because her male co-star would have been shorter than her. When it came to booking her spot on Ted Lasso, however, she was surprised that her co-star Jason Sudeikis was not threatened by her height. She said, the fact that Jason was just like, no, I don't care that she's taller than me, that is a completely unique situation to find yourself in. Where the man is so generous that they want to raise you up and to celebrate everything that you are, and not that you're some skinny mini. She keeps her Emmy in her daughter's bedroom. Hannah Waddingham credits her daughter, Kitty, as a significant factor in her landing the role of Rebecca Welton in Ted Lasso. Kitty has an autoimmune disorder called Henox Gonline Purpura, or HSP, and was quite ill when she was younger. She had hoped for a job to come along that would keep her close to her daughter and at home and allow her to, basically, flex all her acting muscles. Two months later came her Ted Lasso audition. Backstage, after accepting her Emmy, Waddingham shared, My little girl and I have become such a little unit because I am a single mom. And I just wanted to say to her that she can have this in her bedroom to show her that her mummy will only ever be away when it's for a really blooming good reason. I think it shows her, when she's older, she just has to fight that little bit harder and magical things happen.